Welcome back. The Department of Veterans Affairs is hosting a discussion next week to introduce the conversation of building and furthering resilient lifestyles. Joining us right now to talk more about that is Brandon Miller. Brandon, we appreciate you joining us today. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. You were telling me during the break, this is the first time now that we've done Operation Resilience. What is it? Yes, sir. So, well, you said it probably better than I can, but it's, a, it's an introduction into the conversation of uh, the importance of establishing and building a resilient lifestyle and, uh, you know, why that is important. Uh, with, within our agency, we've had a lot of suicide prevention, uh, town halls and events. This conversation is kind of on the front end of that. As opposed to crisis intervention, it's establishing the skill sets that when life gets hard, because as we all know it does, right. these are the skills that are kind of going to help you get through that. Why is it so important to get out on the front end of something like this, especially for veterans? Yeah, so, uh, you know, the thing is with, with resilience, and we kind of fall into this, is you, you don't have to lose what you have because of what you've lost. And resilience is such an interesting conversation where it's simple, but it's kind of complex because with you have the subcategories of motivation, grief, coping, uh, mental strength, where they all fall under the same umbrella, but they're all so different. So when, when life happens and these challenges hit, you have to be prepared. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're starting the conversation, then hoping those in attendance will take it home, have the conversation with their families, back to the workplace, have it with colleagues, strengthen themselves, and then obviously we can work together to strengthen each other. There's a panel discussion coming up next Tuesday. Who's on the panel? So our panel has four panelists, uh, all hand-picked. We're very excited about them. We have Kent Davis, who is the commissioner of our department. Um, he's also a retired rear admiral with the U.S. Navy. We have Wiley Collins, who is a chaplain, a state chaplain with the National Guard, uh, Curtis Pippen, who is the program manager at Auburn University with their Veterans Resource Center. So he uh, has a lot of uh, knowledge and tips on conversating with teenagers, younger, younger veterans, younger adults. And then Willie Durham, who's very well known in this area. He's also a retired Marine. Yeah. Um, so he's going to obviously know a lot of people there, but communicate with them. This is an event that's open to the public. If people want to go and attend, talk about that. And if they can't attend, there's another way to watch it. Right. Yes, sir. So it is. It is at the Montgomery Area Chamber of Commerce there on Court Street, uh, 830 in the morning. We've got the whole room set Next up. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to have donuts and coffee. If that's usually enough to get folks in the door. Yes, sir. Uh, but those who can't make it, look, we understand it is a business day during work hours. Uh, WSFA has been great to partner with, and you all are going to stream it on the website and the app. All right. If folks want more information, there's somewhere to go to get more information on this? Yes, sir. So you can go to the Alabama Department of Veterans Affairs uh, website, which is just va.alabama.gov. Brandon, we appreciate you joining us. Great information. I know it's going to be a packed house. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in today and letting us know about that. And hey, if you can't make it, we'll be streaming the discussion online. You can find it by going to wsfa.com.